Hello, everyone. It is your old pal, Living Dead. And today we are here with Astral Abstraction. It comes uh, courtesy of the Doom World user, The Final Event. And um, this author previously uh, released maybe what we could consider a prototype or a proof of concept uh, that, that seems to bear some faint resemblance to this project called The Assembly Line a couple of years ago. Um, and it seems like this is their their newest project that they have finished. I think there was some demo content available on Doom World at some point. This is the GSDA Doom. Playing with uh, jumping and mouse look enabled. Uh, so this is, uh, if that doesn't give it away, this is going to be a fairly advanced uh, Doom experience. You can see we got a custom pistol. Uh, I guess I don't have a fist right now. Um... And this is what the HUD looks like, so I cannot see my ammo reserves, it seems like. Uh, maybe there's a custom HUD I need to turn on. I'll, I'll pause it real fast and fiddle with that. Okay, we're just sticking with this one for now. So, uh, I won't even bother looking at the monster count. Um, I play tested this just a tiny bit. And, uh, well, without giving it away. Let's just, let's just dive into it. I'll let it speak for itself. You can see we have some very cool, uh, very brutal geometry, and it seems like it's, you know, fairly, it's not, not overly detailed, I would say. Makes good use of the O-Tex, but we have some very good, subtle lighting effects. We've got this um, reflective floor, this cool window thing going on here that I think is just one of the Sean-based uh, O-Tex textures that's set to a very high transparency, I, I would imagine. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty sharp. Um, also features really custom music. Weapons are pretty, uh, heavily overhauled. I was probably just about to say that when I got distracted with the HUD. Is anyone home in this place? Cool ceiling there. I don't normally get to to stretch my neck that way when I play Doom. You know, usually I'm playing it with uh, classic controls where we have a locked uh, vertical aim. So I don't get to look up at the ceiling that often, but uh, the the author certainly rewards your vertical curiosity. I like that these spaces are just very vertical in general. This must be the Room to reboot the power. Somebody left a nice little tape deck here for me. When news broke about the outbreak, I cut the power. We're locked down. We're safe here until the military handles it. This isn't a job for security. Don't try to be a hero. Short and to the point. Well, I guess I must be the security officer, but uh, I'm not heeding that advice. So I believe the pistol has infinite ammo. You can see me do a little reload there. But I think maybe the other guns don't reload, so it's just the pistol. Okay. Interesting sound replacements. It's got a weird pop, but it doesn't have a lot of pow, I guess. Weapons switch a little bit faster. Oh, it just kind of shunted me into the room. We got some pretty advanced scripting going on here. Well, I don't know if I'd say advanced, but we have extensive use of scripting. It's more pro more more appropriate to say here. Uh, rooms and fights that trigger based on the monsters that you have killed. Here's our super shotgun. That sound is just so like non-existent. All 
right. Cool little outdoor area here. Gonna have a look around and make sure I don't miss anything, although there are no secrets. What I meant earlier about the monster count is that uh, I believe these levels just kind of will arbitrarily summon the monsters through scripting, in which case they don't have to be on the map before they are brought into existence. And so that means that you can have a map that starts with zero monsters on the counter, and if you spawn in every monster on the map, then uh, it won't. It, it, the monster count will keep growing every time a monster joins. Premonition. That is 100%. Up next is Daybreak. I'm not sure if this is meant to be played continuous or not, but I'm going to just go ahead and stick with it for the sake of things. Feels like it probably is. Oh, yeah. I guess there's an alternate way up there. Oh. Yeah, so, like, kind of each... Uh, the, uh, it's like a little ticking sound. That's interesting. Uh, each each fight that locks you in also kind of, like, pushes you in. I remember this was something that happened in the assembly line map that this author made as well. Maybe I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'll go along with it for this uh, for this map set, you know? I like that this is just going for something a little different. Uh-oh. Stuck. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. And the elevator just dropped out. Okay. And here we are. Almost feels like it is balanced for uh, pistol start. Oh, shit. What just hit me? The assault rifle feels good and strong. Oh, total miss. Let's finish this guy up with the pistol. Yeah, I believe the pistol's infinite ammo because I don't have a uh, melee attack anymore. There. Oh, that's weird. What just happened? Rocket launcher. That looks like a death pit. Not go down there. Whoa. Alright. Definitely not using the rocket launcher then. Clear some space and then we can switch over. Okay. Oh. I should turn auto aim off. Uh, that sudden jump cut was me turning auto aim off in the options menu just if you like uh, breaking up the action to do that oh, okay I gotta hit this other switch so I'll be okay. Tricky arena design, I like it. Hostile presence. Cool graphics are, are neat. This the whole overall this whole thing is looking really cool so far. I like the visual vibe. This kind of like really industrial, brutal kind of vibe to everything. What is the last thing I need to hit? Aesthetic. Um I'm confused about how this just played out. What did I achieve by doing that? Can I go in here? I need a red key. Restricted to clearance level red. I like that. 
it's a good little just personal take on uh, standard stuff. All right, well, I didn't... Oh, I did acquire the blue key. Okay. Let's see. So that was earlier. What am I doing? I I'm, I'm totally lost. Oh, okay. Let me... <laughs> you can tell it's been a while since I've done this. I have no idea what's going on right now. Oh, that was a fucking total botch job just there. I don't know why I tried to stay in the room just there. Okay. Skybox looks really cool. Just love the, uh, convincingly pulls off this kind of, like, sunset feeling to everything. Maybe it's sunrise, I don't know. It looks like, it looks more like sunset to me. It's a different path. Oh, that, that looks like maybe a dead end, so let's try this way first. Ah, nope, there's a switch that opens that. I see. Oh, pain elemental. Let's get rid of this guy. Damn, I'm almost dead. Uh, interesting sounds there. That is not the standard pain elemental noises that I am used to. So, so far, I, I guess what we're going for is kind of like a, a super tweaked version of uh, Supercharge is what this is feeling like so far. I like it. It's uh, it's nice. It's a nice little little change up to things. I play enough standard Doom as it is. I need to get some health, man. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Does that give me access to the yellow key now? No. What did I achieve? I don't know how to see that. Oh, I got hung up on something. Good job, buddy. Uh, okay, where am I at? Am I doing this all over again? No, okay. All right, here we go. Right. I see it now. Okay, a little better that time. A little better. Uh, I feel like my, my aim is just a little bit weird. I can't, uh... I don't know. I'm so used to whatever I have for DSDA, and I'm not sure what the equivalent is. That almost feels like a little bit too much, but I'll try that for a minute. I'm starting to rally a little bit. None of those open. Oh, this map is called Daybreak, isn't it? So my earlier opining about if it was sunrise or sunset, I was completely wrong. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Uh, what am I doing now? Embarrassingly, just like running around in circles, not completely sure what I'm accomplishing. Something feels like it should be happening here. Is there a switch? Like, this looks like a lift, right? So, what's the deal? Oh, 
Oh, I have the red key. Duh. Did I miss that? I don't know how I'm just like missing that I'm picking up all the keys. We'll just we'll just uh, chalk it up to me being rusty. All right, that's what it's gonna be. Okay. Oh, cool. Digging all the custom music. It's good. Bit understated in a good way, but still catchy. Let's go past all these guys. You catch these rockets, dude. Come here. Oh, that was risky. I need to get rid of these rockets. I got a nuke following me around. that up nothing too uh too too crazy in terms of the carnage but it's still fun i'm sure we're just getting started though i like this here gives this place a sense of location kind of reminds me of like the way a, a half-life level would be built No idea where that secret was. Subterranean compound. I almost want to, to pistol start. What happens if I... Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll just do this. I'm not sure how to change to the correct map. So I'll just stick with this. Be a little bit easier. Because I'm not getting my weapons reset. I mean, this feels like it should be played continuous, but... Uh, that's cool. I like the way that looks. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like the way that this... The details are built. It really does remind me of like a Quake map or a Half-Life map. And that it's like... It's actually... Like this could be way more complicated. You know, you could go like all out and be like, we're in a cave. But it's actually just like the, the actual space is like fairly small and it just lets your imagination do the rest. Like it was working with the resource budget. Which many Quake and Half-Life maps. I mean, all of them were back in the day. You can hear Dario Casali talk about that in his Let's Play series of the original Half-Life, which he worked on. Since I can just run under Kakos, they're just like way less of a threat. How am I supposed to detonate that rocket? Oh, must have been picked up by one of the cacos. Okay. Like, I like that pistol kind of giving you an option to finish enemies off. kind of useful for conserving ammo and it doesn't I mean like it's not very strong but it doesn't feel like overtly puny either it's satisfying to use oh nice nice platforming there bud 
Okay. Sweet. There's like so many good potential thumbnail moments. Nice and suspenseful maps. Nice and suspenseful. I, I don't think I have a backpack yet, so maybe I'll just leave that shell box alone. Oh, that's cool. This time the tables were turned and all the monsters were thrust into the arena. Actually, a nice little mix-up. Oh, shit. Part two. I actually like this rocket launcher sound for some, like a lot. All the weapons kind of have a, a, like a, a subdued, like there's a, there's a, some element of like a pop to them or like a oomph, but they're not very loud. Overall, uh, I think the super shotgun's the only one that I say, like, you need to make this like a super loud sound. I just feel like that's just so, so quiet. I don't know why it's so quiet. All right, I guess we can progress now. I'll just top off. I'm not coming back through here, right? One more to go. Just a little weird feeling in terms of the responsiveness. Like, I feel like I can't always switch or, or get my follow-up shot off like the, uh, when I want to. I'm not totally sure what's going on. Seems to only be the rocket launcher, though. So like that, it's just like a really subtle detail, but it does so much to convey, like, the sense of location. Just the random rocks being everywhere. Nice. We have unlocked this area. Hear the music change up like we just triggered another stage. Pretty cool, man. That's that's cool use of, of the scripting is, is changing the music up dynamically. That's not something that you really see very much in Doom at all. This isn't ominous in any way. Oh, what was that? This is the backup power grid that handles security measures. It's running at maximum power to keep it free out the best it can. It can't go higher. It'll overload and have dire consequences. Uh... I kind of want to overload it. Whoops. I didn't do it. Whoa. That is not what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Does it shoot two at once? It does shoot two at once. Let's 
sick. Uh, I guess I can leave now. Part of it is I'm not used to this HUD, so just noticing that the key is there. For whatever reason, it's in the top right. I don't know if that's something I can change, and I'm not going to go just digging through the options right now. When I'm on a roll. where I came from? Yes. Okay. Cool. I like this type of stuff. Just really good details. This feels like a proper, like, almost lobby area for a larger bunker complex. Arachnotrons can drop plasma? I don't know. It's, it doesn't look like it. Wishful thinking. I want to keep using this plasma gun, actually. I've never been a big fan of a lot of weapon mods that change the plasma gun into a slower firing, but more, more powerful gun, but that one feels really good to use. It's a shame I don't have any more ammo for it. Okay, I don't want the armor if I can help it. Yeah, let's hit this one first, and then... Will that be a fight? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to have to try to inch my way around it. Whoops. Oh, well. Shit happens. Huh. It's kind of interesting. Just the sound effect there. Oh, subterranean compound finished. Cavernous ruins. All right. Let's see what this let's see what this person can do when they get out of out of the sort of base vibe cuz I would say that was maybe the one thing is that between the assembly line map which again is you know kind of a proof of concept so I'm not really incorporating that into my assessment of this but uh, in terms of what I have played, that map plus these maps leading up to this one so far, it's like, all right, I know you're, you're really good at the Brutalist uh, O-Tech space kind of vibe. Let's see what else you can do. And uh, I'm glad we're getting a little bit of that here in this map. So let's see. Let's see what the, they come up with when they break the mold. All right. Cool vibe so far. Secret? Nope. No music, though. Oh, it would, like, take this up a notch if there was just, like, some ambient cave wind. Especially. I'm not sure why there's no music playing, but... Interesting. Is that an error, or is that supposed to happen? So you kill a pinky in about one mag. A clip. It takes a clip to kill a pinky. See, I'm, I'm starting to pay attention to the fact that I have keys now, okay? Here we go.
I like this music. Nice, nice that it's uh, picked up. I figured it was going to be kind of like a dramatic up tempo shift type of moment when the, the music comes in. Ah, oh, shit. Man, we actually got some exploring to do here. All right. That's kind of one thing that I was starting to pick up on a little bit, you know, with, uh, I, I remember, I actually remember that assembly line map decently well. It had some really cool, cool ideas in it, but it was very scripted. So, uh, it was mostly just like a, a sequence of connected, uh, combat arenas, which is cool. It's, you know, like, I'm not going to be overly upset about that in a, sh you know, a single map. That's kind of like part of the, the maps thing, then that's fine. Uh, in a project, over the course of a project, I usually like to see a little bit more variety. Uh, not a, not a project, but you know, a multi-map set. That's, that's what I mean. Um... Just because I do feel like constantly stringing together arenas is a little bit old after a while. Uh, I'm glad that this is diverting. This is some good incidental stuff mixed with arena. And the areas are very interesting now. All of a, you know, not like all of a sudden. Like the previous map was cool too, but uh, I guess I'm just saying that the, uh, the variety here is welcome and it looks nice. It's, it's good stuff. All right. Yellow key, that's the... I don't know what that is. Okay. And that is probably certain deaths. We're just not even going to jump down there. I often say that Otex is really good texture set, but it totally, like, kind of takes over the style. If you, if you don't really present a super confident style of your own. And I think this makes a very compelling case for adopting Otex for itself. I think it does very well. I'm not, like, this doesn't really, you know, make me feel like the other prominent Otex project of Eternity or anything like that. Like, this feels like it's uh, very much its own thing going on here. And I think that's a lot to do with the, the author's style and just the overall tone and vibe of this thing, too. So, very good very compelling case made for why uh, the final event uh, you know should should uh, warrant using these uh, these Otex all right Getting just a lot of, of carnage right now. I guess I'll grab this armor. It's probably not coming back this way. And, all right. I just need to take the blue key door. How do I get back over there? This way? Yeah. Nice. More plasma gun. Take it. Looking forward to it. Interesting, uh, some good action so far. Been enjoying the combat of this map quite a bit. Pop up cacos. Oh, 
Oh, I need to need to use this plasma gun. I'm waiting for like something dangerous to show up. Secret cache uncovered. Ooh. Have, should I have been looking for these? Oh yeah. Nice. So, would I hit that guy like three times with the plasma gun? That did a lot of damage to him. I finished him off with a single SSG. Oh, yeah. This thing is strong. This, this might be too strong. <laughs> Cool. A little bench area. I like that. All right. Little lobby thing going on here. Ah, we're back outside. <laughs> it's a bit jarring. That. Very interesting. Not what I was expecting. Okay. That looks cool. <laughs> yeah, two shots will kill a cacodemon from this thing. It's basically like the equivalent of a super shotgun. It's insane. I have like 30 shots. Just wreck some dude. Can't do anything about it. Oh. That is certain death sick cavernous ruins gatekeeper of the day what does that mean is this map five all right i feel like i shouldn't be here oh It's a fun little secret. Whoops. How about out here? This makes me feel like Dark Souls for some reason. Being really high up in like Lothar Castle or something. Except instead of like a big landscape, you just have like a giant sea almost. So that looks like. Did I make it to the water's edge? I'm being stocked up on supplies. Uh oh. What? He has like reflective armor or something? I just fucking two tapped myself with 100 health and 100 armor. That's how strong the fucking plasma gun is. Okay. Ah. He's like a Doom Eternal enemy. Interesting.
That was cool. Gatekeeper of the day. Meltdown. Is this episode two? Surface tension? Let me save my progress real fast. It is. This is episode two. Okay. Oh, I could have just looked at the mini, the auto map. Duh. All right. Well, I think one episode is good for one episode of this show. A uh, show. This YouTube video. Uh, that was sick. I'm very, uh, I'm very impressed with what I've played so far. I like the vibe of this. It's kind of unique. This kind of dark industrial aesthetic. Uh, I, I really liked those subterranean maps. I was cool. I was uh, glad to see those kind of come up in the in the mix. Um, but I'm I'm looking forward to what you know what happens next in this. I'm I'm gonna definitely jump back into this pretty soon. This is pretty sick, I gotta say. So uh, thank you so much for checking this out and. Uh, Thanks for tuning back in after all this time. Sorry for the hiatus and uh, can't say that I won't guarantee that, you know, there's going to be another one again. But for what it's worth, I, I do. Uh, I did enjoy making this and I am interested in checking the rest of this out. So, you know, stay tuned, I suppose. <laughs> Thanks. And I will see you next time.